Баба, ще ходя за закуски. Искаш ли нещо? Какви закуски бе? Е, от нея барака до вкъщи. А, не, не. Там няма да ходиш. Баба ти Сталин кълния ден ходи там и са на трови, едва ме спасиха. Ча аз ям там през ден бе, баба. Как така? Зими, зими тая ракия да се обезпаразитиш. Hi there comrades, as promised in the recent pasta video with the dog's delight, we will prepare some kashkavalki. Yes, if you remember those nice pastries which I showed you during the bonus round when I was telling you the story of our nice melting cheese called kashkaval. Here these pastries are basically a street food which people eat for breakfast. We have these little shacks all over our cities which produce the so-called zakuski, which directly translates to breakfasts. In the mornings, in front of these shacks, you can find a lot of people waiting in a row to get breakfast before going to work. There are different pastries sold there, both sweet and savory, a lot of banitsa varieties and even some Slav version of pizza, babushka pizza if you call it, uh, which reminds me that we should make a babushka pizza. Yep, we are doing that soon. It has been decided. Well, these pastries are not bad in taste. Uh, in most places they're made with some cheap products and with a ton of oil, which can only cause a stom stomach ache or other stomach related problems, if you understand me. But people still enjoy them, especially when they're in a hurry, as they're very easy to get and are quite cheap. As I said, the kashkavalki are sold in these shacks, where you can enjoy them with a nice slab drink, such as buza or ayran, for the price of one and a half lever, which is around 75 to 80 euro cents or around a dollar, a little bit less than a dollar. But as you don't have such breakfast shacks in your country, uh, I can imagine, I'll show you how to prepare this nice kashkavalki at home. It actually turned out easier than I imagined. And now let's see the slav shopping list for today. First, enjoy the blooming wild chestnut in front of my apartment. It's simply blackful. After that, brace yourself. You need 400 grams of white starchy dead, two well-protected liquid chickens, 180 grams of nice creamy yogurt or skur or Greek yogurt, I use Bulgarian one, 200 grams of kashkaval, the main hero of the game today, 30 grams of cow juice fat, two to three tablespoons of sunflower oil, one tablespoon of baking soda, some salt and some baking powder to make the dough magic happen without the yeast. After that, enter secret codes for the Slavic sequence for making kashkavalki. First, take carefully your bowl with yogurt, adding the baking powder and the baking soda. The acidity in the yogurt will activate them and our pastries will rise. After that, add the salt in the flour. You can either sift it or just mix it with a whisk. This will add some air to the flour, which will make our kashkavalki rice. Zooming to it is helping with that, by the way. This is scientifically proven. Take the flour aside and get to the real business. Grating your kashkaval from at least three angles. By the way, if you can't find kashkaval, this will work with edam, cheese, cheddar, gouda, even mozzarella. Get the eggs in a bowl and whisk them well. Add a little bit of olive oil to them or sunflower oil. I used sunflower oil in that case, as you saw in the products review. After that, mix up with the yogurt we prepared at the start and also add it in the bowl. Mix everything well until homogeneous. After that, throw in the flour and start mixing with the spatula. If it is too sticky, just sprinkle some flour on the top and start using your hand. We should have it in a workable, non-sticky form. After that form is achieved, 
sprinkle some flour on the table and transfer the dough. Work it a little bit with the flour. Take a rolling pin and flour it very well so the dough won't stick to it. Take your time rolling it as it is elastic. It will want to return back to its initial state thanks to the gluten. When you have it nicely rolled into a circular form, sprinkle kashkaval all over it. Just make sure to leave some aside as we'll need it for later. Roll the dough and make sure to seal it well, so our kashkaval won't fall. Cut it into even parts. After that, carefully transfer the parts to a baking sheet crosswise and smash them a little bit. Add a little bit of butter on top of each kashkavalka and top it with some additional kashkaval. Our beauties should be ready for the oven. Bake them at 180 Celsius or 356 Fahrenheit until golden brown. And we're done. Transfer them to a cooling rack. I couldn't resist eating one while it's hot. But I guarantee you that you won't resist two. Just be careful as the hot dough will make your stomach ache. Swap difficulty level. I will give this 3 out of 5. Despite working with dough, this is an easy and fast dough recipe without yeast. Also, it is quite versatile. You can add more things in it, like ham, tomatoes, pickles, herbs, etc. It is quite nice, if you ask me. You can eat it for breakfast as we do. As I said in the intro, it's a popular street food here, but the homemade version is made with quality products, tastes better and is cheaper. Also, as you saw, they're not very hard to prepare. Energy, for one piece of these beauties, you have 310 calories, 11 fats, 40 carbs and 12 grams of protein. They are quite dense and filling and I'd like to enjoy them with some buza, which is a sweet fermented drink. I will see if I can make some homemade version of it in a future video. So you can see how to prepare it at home of course. Keep in mind that we prepared half a batch of kashkavalki, typically babushka used to prepare this on the weekend so we have what to take as a quick snack or just take it to school or to work or whatever. I hope you like this Slavic foodness and love you next time. Meanwhile, enjoy some aerial views of Slav nature.